plan comes together. Yeah. 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 All right. So this one, uh, somebody had just left this morning, so we were in the middle of fixing this one, but this is the nautical room. This was here before, but we did some changes to it, so we're not finished uh, this one. So this one's that looks like typically. And then um, we had the windmill people stay two years ago, and we ran out of room. Oh. So these next three were storage rooms, and so in nine days we built rooms because we needed uh, Needed people to needed room for people. So these are little fans here. Then the other side. Oops, sorry. And this is a, a nice room. Wow. This is the Parisian room. Very nice. That's good, right? Absolutely. It all started with this picture. So you decided to theme a whole room picture. after a picture. Yep, and this is metal, it pops out. And when I was in Europe, oh, this reminded sweet. me of Europe. So I bought this picture and then and then it became this. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, a free piece of sexy in the mirror. And, uh, absolutely, no extra cost for you. <laughs> so that's that room. Then this is the Zen room. Whoa. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You have made this up. That's great. And this started with this picture when I owned the garage. Man, what if somebody sent you a picture of a turd? Can you imagine what the room would have turned into? I, I guess that would that would be the bathroom. Yes, it probably would be. <laughs> Maybe the outhouse. <laughs> and, uh, and then Court. this was creative. So very nice. This is a nice room. Classroom. So we designed hey, hey. what a, a natural room. fit. So have you ever had the place completely booked? Many times. Nice. At Christmas time, we always rent out. People come and they they do. They put their things on it. We had a, a bicycle club come here for a night, and they did a bicycle thing on there. Yeah, um, nice. We, we had the CP Rail guys here, and they booked a bunch for about eight months. And just before that, we had the windmill people here, and they booked uh, seven rooms for six months. They're about to come back. I don't know when. I'm going to a meeting on Monday. Hopefully two years. They're coming here for two years. So the project is a two-year project. Then. And this is when the CP Rail guys came. Wow. So we took the fitness equipment out and we put this. And then we found this it's old fridge. It's the party room. That they still had and it still works. Brown fridge. How cool, how cool is that, right? So that's, that's a piece of history right there. I've taken a picture of it just in case it gets erased. How old was he when he invented this flag? 27. How did he do it in the school? Was he a teacher? Yes. And what year would that have been? 1969. Oh, wow. And he was a teacher in the room where we just came out of. Mm -hmm. um, and when he, he, a long story, I'll tell it to you, but when he came here, uh, I brought him here in May, and um, I told him oh, in England, pick a room, whatever room you like. Like He liked the Parisian room. And I, so when he got here, uh, I said, not only do you like that room, but that's actually the room you taught in. Whoa. So, but he didn't know that. He was just looking at pictures. Well, how, how, is he living in England now? Yeah. Long story. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read different things with it, but I won't say it. This oh. is the lab. Oh, it had to be. Yeah. It looks a lot like the fleshes. Yeah. I love this. Uh, and it I still it. has a little bit of the lab smell. It does. It has less than it had when I first got it, but. I believe yeah. you. So this is, uh, yeah, this is when they were here, May 12th, 2016. Is it actually yeah. dangerous in there? In there? Yeah. I think that's a joke, there right? Is, Doesn't that um, lead right into what we saw before? There is things that are in there that... Oh, you got to be curious behind. now. I wonder if it's open. No. no. I can't open it for you. There is things in there. There is... They will attack me tonight. No. There's test tubes, all kinds of sizes. There's beakers. There's... There's uh, chemicals that are in there that probably should be gone, and there's there's no pain in the okay. jar though. I'm sure they'll mix together well. <laughs> well, we have the lab, right? and then look at in here. Oh, we can, can we turn on the Bunsen burners and really have fun? See, look, it's all no more too deep in there. This one's dirty. Oh no, less. Oh boy. Yeah, that one's cleaner. But we were thinking of making this a bar, and we actually have a pool. Wow. We're not going to do it now because the bar was bought over by somebody else, and it fits yeah. better. But. We're thinking of maybe a bar just for people staying here. Oh, sure. And then we could they could drink at a beaker's and we could call it the lab. Nice. Okay, so, anyway, oh, we were going to call it the hub pub, but 
but then the lab just sort of works better. But anyway, so you never know. You never know. That'll make sense in a minute. Um, so these two rooms are joined together. The red says it's three. So we have to come up with more rooms. Wow. So, so this is the, the like the secretary's office or something like that. I'm not sure. I've heard different things. And if the secretary comes back, she can rent it. <laughs> and then it's connected to this, which is uh, the principal's office. And there was one guy, they were, there was a bunch of them staying here, and he says, I'll sleep anywhere, but not in this room. I've spent enough time in this room. Oh, that, is that ever funny? So he was in the principal's office. Many, many times, apparently. Well. I painted this picture. So this oh, is that's, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, I painted one in, in your room. The one on the far wall over there is from an iceberg, um, not an, ice, an ice cave, and in your, the room you're in, and I painted that one too. But we wanted to have a theme, right? Theme for all the rooms, and so this is um, this is like a hunter's room. Hunters love this room. Oh, no doubt. I'm just gonna turn that, that light off. Yeah, you can sleep with your deer right here. It's all off. And and over here, well, you can't sleep with the secretary. It's probably good, but it's yeah. her room. It's the room that they're in. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, so you've got the uh, smart place to stay. So. Oh yeah, okay. I I get why it's in quotes. And do you do you know why it's school? Is? Because people here never learn to spell correctly, and That's so they true. call it. But also S K for the province. Oh my God, it's exactly right. Yes. Exactly right. Nobody can figure that out. Well, you go to school to learn how to spell because it's spelt wrong, mm -hmm. and it's S K for for our province. This is That's how the smart people is... smell. They got education. This is how to spell it. S K. Oh, well, well, we're so cool. The school, we it's learn cool to be cool. To stay in school. And that yeah. which the end thing to say in the end, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you can stay in school and sleep here too. <laughs> I slept in class lot. And this is, um, this was many things a library. A oh my gosh, school. you got air hockey. Yeah, we got air oh hockey. Oh my gosh, there's a bit. I think some church could rent this whole place and have their own youth retreat here. Uh, and exactly, and, and not just that, but people that want to um, do like um, retreats of any kind, uh, that's what I'd actually really love to do. You know, retreats. I know why there's nobody here though, because of that sign that says, welcome, the Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans gather here, and, and they've been so bad this last year that as you can see, there's <laughs> just nobody around, it's, it's kind of oh, too bad. I really like this. Everybody who went to school here that has shown up since can exactly. sign their name. And I've got Anthony Drake to sign it right here. The designer of Saskatchewan flag. That he he's a you know he's a teacher. Teachers yeah. don't usually sign it, but that's important. So I put it on there. I got him to sign. Actually, I was at the school once, but not as a, not as a well, I was here as a student, but not as a student at this school. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh, all you right. Whoa. You could have lots of teachers lounge here. So this wow, is um, that's huge. This is we have four suites. So you saw the principal's office. You saw the one that was the the, the fitness oh. center. There's this one, and then yeah. there's the big one, which we're redesigning. This one I want to redesign. So I'm trying to think of what to do. So I'm thinking of on this wall, painting and making a pyramid in the corner, and then having all the sand and all that here, and then maybe King Tut or the head. Of, or the, that lion, you know, up here. We'll see. I have to, I have to paint it. And then um, change. I have red and black uh, and gold comforters. Mm -hmm. So I change the comforters. Make hydroglyphic here, and then paint this wall black and red and gold. Nice. So that's my. So then this will be the Egyptian room. Anthony Drake was a teacher in this school uh, back in '69. There was a contest to design our our flag. And there was 4,025 entries. I've told this story a thousand times in front of thousands of people in this past you year. You have only 3,025 left to tell it. Oh, phew. And um, so he, he entered, and it was months and months later, and he was teaching that day. He got a call from the radio station Swift Current, and he stood right there and found out that he was the winner of the contest. Yep, boop. So I'm going to put something here with a phone and a... And a flag. Background. You'll see. <laughs> Come with me. So, so that's this. 
So then for 47 years, we'll go this way. For 47 years, nobody did anything. It's, it's wow, that, this school was a sham and no one did anything for 47 years while the people just took in the tax dollars. Students <laughs> pretended to be learning. Teachers pretended to teach. And, and really then it's about the flag. there was an investigation and, and it all came to an end and now it's a hotel. So I moved from Alberta, not from Saskatchewan, and um, it intrigued me because I found out he was a teacher in this school and that the flag is from Hodgeville and here, this my school, my home. It took I you didn't... to publicize this. Everyone no. else sat on the history, hey? Where do you live? Where are Regina now? Regina? The place that rhymes with fun. Okay. So, um, so it took me a year and a half to find him. I finally did find him. And then it took me a year to organize. My husband, who's going blind, and myself organized a 21-day trip. We went to 11 towns and cities. These are all the places. We went to Herbert and um, Gravelberg and Regina, Swift Current, Moose Jaw, Assiniboia. Uh, you went right Avery. by my hometown of Milaville. Uh, and we went all over the place. And we were written up in... Um, uh, now 18 newspapers. Oh, that that's, that's better than a police report. Sask, <laughs> Sask tell TV Max, so I asked them if they would do a documentary on it, and they did. Wow. And then uh, they actually gave me the rights to sell it. I started a non-profit organization um, to raise money. I created the first Saskatchewan Flag Day, the first uh, Flag Day in Western Canada, Provincial Flag Day in Western Canada. I got September 22nd proclaimed by the Minister of Parks, Rec, and Culture. And the premier to um, who was it at that it? time? May twenty sixteen. Oh no, who was the Can minister it? then? Doherty. Okay, yep. He had Mark. actually just changed over. Uh, Doherty um, took over was from Christine Tell, or who? no? Was it Christine Tell before that? No, it was yeah. Doherty. Um, Anthony Drake didn't know that the Francesco flag was derived from this from the, his flag, um, but it was. And so when we went through the register, he was mm. very surprised. So we, we actually were honored guests at the at the legislature, and then we spent an hour in uh, in the premier's office. The same day, I had arranged for us to meet up with the lieutenant governor, and we had tea with the lieutenant governor in her office. And, Man, and that's huge! And then you hour. never looked back. You never missed Alberta after that. No. A little and bit I you think, did. I oh, you hesitated. I, like uh, I knew. Uh, I missed. Wow. So how many hotels have a school gymnasium? I mean, hey. There's a stage, not just all the world, like Shakespeare said, like a real stage. <laughs> I remember lights like this and what it was like for them to come on slowly. And actually, the gym of the flesh was this size too. Volleyball yeah. size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then over here, um, we have, this is where I put the fitness center. Oh, nice. Well, that, that's great. Let me just turn off that light. My husband's a mechanic. Wow. We, uh, and the lesser known mechanics shop. <laughs> yeah, apparently they never used, they called it a shop, but they never used it for automotive. Well, they hey, I mean, I mean, if there was 47 years of doing nothing, of course they never <laughs> did any mechanics. Well, they did something. They just something. didn't do anything about the flag. Come straight across and Oh, oh we're going we're gonna to find out this mystery here. So we're just redesigning My this goodness, room. there is no end. <laughs> this is the end of the room. So we're just redesigning oh, this, this is room. the I spoke too soon. And um, we're gonna have we're gonna put the the, the uh, bed the opposite way, and then make this into a little living room. The living room is usually over there, but we're just kind of redesigning it. So this is the biggest uh, selling place. This thing rents out constantly. We have hunters. They they book over a year in advance for this room. Why do they, they want it the so bad? It's so open. All the beds are here. Dogs can fit in. We let dogs come in for uh, for um, hunting season. And, yeah. They, they want they want to sleep in the same room as their dogs. Well, hunters, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's what they do. A whole different world in Montreal and Calgary. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So uh, they bring their bitches along. <laughs> So, things that we did, this is a, another newspaper we were in. We've been in more, uh, but this, this is some more. This one is from yeah, this uh, is just a the Prairie Coast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and that's when we were at the airport when he arrived. Wait a second. Who's that on the bottom? I think I know her. Anyway, yes. And, um, 
And this is what Anthony Drake looked like uh, to begin with. This is his, during when My he was My gosh, in he was here. born looking like that? Yeah. Oh, so much taller. Yeah. Right? That's what he looked like then. That's what he looks like now. This well, is, look uh, at that. The smile hasn't changed. No. This is, um, this is an interesting story. It was uh, in April. So I had done all my preparing, but he hadn't arrived yet. And I was, doing, I was invited to go to a conference okay. in, um, in Swift and to talk about uh, the flag. Nobody knew me. Nobody knew the story. I hadn't talked about it yet. People in Hodgdale obviously did. So um, I was introduced by them saying, uh, and this is, uh, this is a story about a lady who um, you don't know. This is in front of 300 people. A uh, lady you don't know, but I can tell you that you're going to hear her name over and over and over again in the next few weeks. And uh, here, he, here she is, Gail Hapanowitz, and she's here to tell you a story about a flag. And that's the first time I, I publicly talked about the flag. And then since then, I was, on, I was in 18 newspapers that I know of, even in England, um, the DVD, radio, TV, Southwest TV News constantly. I was just, oh, God. Then I, I, now I go and I go to different towns that we went to or even that we didn't go to and present the video that we had made and show the video and then do a talk and show um, letters from the premier and nice. thank you letters. and Anyway. So, so this meteor fell. I didn't even know about this, this meteor until exactly, I saw it right now. And the Canadian things. Space Agency. We it have one. It is the largest meteorite in all of Saskatchewan. Swift Current thinks they have one. There's the size of a baseball. This is the size of a small basketball. And again, Hodgeville keeps it a secret. It's sitting right over there in the hospital, which is now a hey, I hope it gets better. And, yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and this is another little piece of interesting facts that Hodgeville has that people probably don't know about. Bluebird on your windowsill. Oh, and it came from space. No, this one didn't come from space. This one came from a lady who's a nurse who was from Hodgeville, and she was uh, in that hospital, and she wrote that song. And Bing Crosby even sang Whoa. this song. Wrote the song? A Bluebird on Your Window. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, okay, see, I got you. distracted by it. I got distracted by Yogi, who, who so, was a different kind of snowbird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so Yogi came here. I told him about, because he was our MLA, I told him about this before all this happened. And he came out for half an hour visit, and three hours later he left. And he backs us 100%. Him and I are working on making Highway 19. Yes. Instead of it being called Highway 19. The flagway. Flag, oh, that's good. Flag trail. Flag trail. Yeah, so... Hopefully. You know, that's going to be a lot of flags you're going to have to put back to back, stitch together along that road to make it the whole trail. I know, but I'm willing to do that. I believe you. So come over here. Um, when I got a hold of Anthony Drake, when I finally found him, uh, I got a hold of Anthony Drake and um, he said he would send me a package of things that he had because he had kept all of this stuff for 47 years. Wow, and, and somebody. this is one of them. This, so that they really did not have the red matching <laughs> on their printout over Clear, there at the clearly. leader post. But do you know? 4,000 entries. The fact checking has always worked. You were one for one. And he won $1,000, which then, at that time was enough for him to buy a vehicle. It was about probably 12000 of our, our time now. Do you see that flag? Do you see what's different? <clears throat> um, well, only if I... Okay, tell me. Just tell me. I think, I think the leaves are twisted. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. The leaves are twisted, and okay. this is reversed. Right now, this oh, is here, and this is over there. So, so, so this who was it that modified it then? The government. And they're the... allowed to. He had to sign off, and, and that's oh. why this is so rare. And that's why it's in this frame on this side, because it is a rare thing. It's, it doesn't happen. Like, you don't see that every day. So when they came, uh, when they came to visit us, his wife made this for us. It's, um, the, wow. This is the house they lived in at the time. This is the hospital. Their daughter was born in the hospital. And she just made this. And this is pictures that she had saved from back then. You know what? And she made that. And that isn't that. funny, but they've left you in stitches. Oh, God, you are very funny. Um, and so then there's this side, too. So I was. That's um, a lot of talent. I found these three girls. Um, and they they went to the airport and they met him at the airport uh, as a surprise to them. But that took wow. a lot of work to find those three girls. Wow. Um, this is his this is his thousand uh, dollar check. This is his invitation to see the raising of his flag, which he wasn't able to attend because he had already gone back to England. 
and that's what broke my heart. I uh, couldn't believe that he never saw his flag being raised until I brought him to Canada. Oh. And then we went to that picture where you saw the cadets. Yeah. And they raised it because that was our first day. Oh. And they raised the flag for him. What an and, amazing story. Uh, and then they walked past him and they said, eyes right. And everybody saluted him. Oh my God. It was the best moment. Anyway, I get teary. Um, and that's him and his wife, and this is the committee that chose the flag. That's some of the designs there. I want to do more research Whoa, to see. Whoa, that's what a else room is full of a lot of things. There were and a lot of, of different ones still they alive, could choose. They say. So I'm, I'm going to do more research on that kind of stuff. Kind of stuff. My gosh, I'd love to see an encyclopedia full, or or some kind of website of of all the designs that didn't make it. Well, he sent in 13, so I'd like to see the other 12, see where they are. Oh, yeah. So I sent a flag to Anthony oh, Drake. determined to win. And he wrote this, which is this, this is what this says, this, this here, I've typed it up. And, um, and he wrote that to me, and I didn't know that I'd ever see him. And uh, a year later, he came and he visited us. So that is, that is a great thing. So let's hear about how the French but the Francesqua flag is an imitation of his flag. Okay. Is this a, another government invention? Mm, no. Who derived no. the flag? Who who actually did that? There you go. This that person. Oh, 1979. Yeah. So so it took them ten years to ten years later. To, um, uh, the French to people do that. decided the, there's a society and they decided to have a flag. So they took the colors from the same that Anthony did for the green for the forest, yellow for the wheat. They made a fleur de lis, of course, because they're French. Yes, and because and, it, it matches my name as well. Uh, that's my flower. Except that's L Y S instead of L E E. I oh. digress. Oh, I see. And I'm from Quebec, so it makes sense to me. But I'm English. Um, anyway, uh, that, that is from Louis Riel. That was his fleur de lis. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. I know. That's his fleur de lis. And so they, they used his design and they made it red for the blood and sweat and tears that they had, that the French had to go through to be here. So it that's took that you flag. telling me, it took an Albertan a, no, from Quebecer. a Quebecer who moved to Alberta <laughs> that is already sentences. a riddle wrapped up in an enigma just with that, <laughs> that then know. moved to Saskatchewan as an English person to tell me what the French did. Yeah. And That's I great. Had to uh, the Métis. The Do you know why I left Quebec? Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Pourquoi? Because, pourquoi because um, René Lévesque got in and I got out. Well, I know. Right? With, with all that cigarettes he was smoking, you could hardly oh. breathe. Well, we were just waiting. So, this is interesting. Go on Google and you ask uh, the designer of, the Suska of this flag and it says unknown. You go on there right now and it'll say unknown. Well, well, you need to change that. That didn't really sit well with me. No. So I searched and searched. And yeah, <laughs> we got more. And I searched and searched, and I found out that there was a committee. Um, they had a contest uh, to see for kids, youth, to make a design. So they made a bunch of designs. I don't know how many. And um, they handed them in, and there was three top people from CBC Radio, mm -hmm. executives that had retired, retired or left, and they were now part of this, the top, top people of this group, right? And um, So everyone on CBC Radio decided something visual? Sure. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, they decided <laughs> on this. Um, I'm not focused. They decided uh, to, okay. to, to, mm -hmm. use, to see if they could use any of these youth. And the lady in charge of that youth group didn't really like any of the designs. And she asked these three people, yeah. um, executives, if they could take derivatives of that and create a design which they did. They never took the money. They actually donated the money back to the society. That's amazing. And they said they never want their names talked about or spoken. So from 1979 until Gail Hapanowitz moves to Hodgeville um, and tracks these guys, and it took me a while, it took wow. me three really long weeks to track these guys, I found them. That's amazing. One's in Quebec. Yep. I haven't spoken to him yet. And then there's Lionel uh, Bonneville, Mm -hmm. And Laurier Garreau, he's the main designer, and he's also the designer. So these two people, mainly him, are the designers of this flag. So I have the Saskatchewan flag signed mm -hmm. by the designer. I have the 
Uh, Francesc Ball flag signed by two of three designers where Google says the, the designer is unknown. I thought Google always told the truth. They do. They don't know any different. I know. And then we have, do you know what this is? This is the harvest that was a bloodbath for farmers. It was 1986 and the grasshoppers ate it all. And then this was the last sheaf of wheat that was standing. And the red also symbolizes the fact that the Rough Riders got slaughtered. And during this period, they missed the playoffs for 11 straight years. Wow. And I should have that story. That's not quite the story, but go ahead. Well, <laughs> I'm a journalist and you never let the truth get in the way of a, a good story. Uh, no longer. So let's oh hear the real God, thing. That's so exciting. This is like the 18 times I've spoken to journalists. Um, this is the uh, Jubilee flag before oh. we had our flag, 1969. So this from 1960. So they made a flag before we had one. Yes. That's... Yeah, 1965 to 1969, this was the Saskatchewan flag. Oh, But it, okay. wasn't, it wasn't adopted as Saskatchewan flag. They called it the Jubilee flag. I see. So it was a Saskatchewan flag that was not a Saskatchewan flag, Adopted. leaving us with no flag because it was unofficial yes. until an Englishman who wasn't here <laughs> when it was erected made a flag, and then the French decided that CBC Radio didn't know what they were talking about. And, <laughs> and so it. some Quebecers made us a French flag, and now live in Quebec, and you betrayed their lifelong desire and have published their names. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I think I, they I deserve the fame, right? though. I think I so, think that was great, so, and I think that was very selfless of them. And I'm glad that now they get the fame. Okay. Right. So this flag was designed by Sister Melda. Did some research, found that Sister Melda designed this flag. A, 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 you know, a Catholic nun. That's amazing. I mean, if we were too busy having sex, what could we be inventing? This is Sister Melba, um, after she designed the flag. Oh, that's this gorgeous. is her at the beginning. I'd be proud to look at that cute smile she's got. Wow, it's straight out of Sound of Music, ripping the wires out of a car. <laughs> Pretty much. And so um, I did some research looking for Sister Melda, and lo and behold, she lives in Saskatoon. She's retired. She's alive. She's 95 years old. That is incredible. And I took Anthony Drake, and we went, and it's on the video, and they met each other. And uh, Oh, my gosh. Was, now I want to see this video, and you're going to sell it to me. I have one, That's and I right. can do that. Look at this. And, um, yeah, Sister Melda and Anthony Drake met at the Piece of History. We got the Saskatoon Tribune, I think it is. I'm not okay. sure what it's called. And uh, they came out, and uh, they, they did that. And Sister Melda signed the display. Oh, that's incredible. You know, you've got... A piece of history. You do. I do. And In little tiny heart show. I, I just think this is fantastic. And then this is just... Oh. <laughs> this is a, a puzzle indeed. And my dad's American and was. And he was born in the States, and so that's that. So now I guess I collect flags. Well, <laughs> I guess so. That's fantastic. See, this just adds to the whole thing. So are you a dual citizen? No. My no. father left when he was... 16 years old. It was a long time ago, before World War II. I just love that you get to be the principal. You absolutely deserve it. So this is my... Oh, sorry. Oh, that's good. This is my business card for the inn. This is my business card for the foundation. I have a Facebook page. You need to go on that Facebook page because that tells the whole journey. I took 1,700 pictures Whoa. while we went on our journey. Every night we would come home, they would go to bed. They stayed in this room that we were just in. They ended up staying in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my wedding day. Wow. <laughs> and um, I would stay up about two hours and put all the pictures on the internet. And da -da 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 -da. yeah, it was a busy time. We took a piece of... Uh, I got your picture, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> took, um, we took... We, we, this was part of, uh, of the other room and um, of the home ec room that we were just in. Put a wall up so this is a kitchen for everybody. So that everybody can kind of... You kitchen. have enough kitchens for a cooking competition. <laughs> but if those two rooms are booked, you, Gord, nobody else can have a kitchen, right? So that's why we made this kitchen. Well, I suppose. But I mean, Gord Ramsey, he could swear at dozens of people. A Brit. Yes. Oh, wait till I tell you more about the Brits. About okay. the Queen. Always been my goal. What's my ultimate goal with um, with the, the flag? Putting ultimate on the Brits. <laughs> my ultimate goal, you should have been a comedian. You are a comedian. You just should be on stage. Um, 
<laughs> Tell me what you're talking about. <laughs> I distract okay. your train of thought. Okay. <clears throat> for the queen to honor her constituency for designing a flag for her Commonwealth country's province. That's been my goal right from the start. Always been my goal. Um, mm -hmm. If nothing else happened, that's what that would be. I, I would die. I would be complete. That's what I want to happen. Um, before all of this happened. So when I was phoning around and I talked to the, um, the uh, Lieutenant Governor's office, mm -hmm. um, she says, oh, you know, so what's your plans? And I, and I told her, that's what I told her. And I want to be there, right? Oh, so, absolutely. That makes sense. So, so when I told her um, that, she said, oh, well, we could make that happen. I said, what? She says, this year, 2017, we get a new Lieutenant Governor, um, I think April or May. And she says, they always have a sitting with the Queen. I said, well, where? In, here in Canada or, or in England? She said, oh, in Buckingham Palace. And I quickly, and I want to be there. And she says, we might make that happen. Wow. Oh, my God. Whether I'm there or not there doesn't matter. I'd like to be there. But I really want that for Anthony. And when he was here during this time, when he was coming, he didn't know any of this was going on. He actually canceled his trip. And I said, no, no, you, you have to come because I've got... A whole lot of things planned for you. Whoa. So he came, but um, he he knew maybe five or six things, but I had a uh, well many things like 30, 40 things that we were gonna do, and so um, everything was a surprise, like an airplane ride. It was, we did so many things. Anyway, um, the airplane ride surprised him. Yeah, he did. Not the one coming here. Although, ah, uh, ah, uh, um, WestJet. The, the he had a surprise yeah. on WestJet when he arrived. There was a. A scrum? I learned what a scrum is. I know what a scrum I is. I know, but I didn't. And we had a scrum at the airport, and then when we were at the legislature, there was a lot of people there in Regina, and I turned to my buddy and I said, now that's a scrum. Wow, <laughs> you were a mover and a shaker. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I didn't think so. So now I have to write a book. I want to make a coloring book. Um, we're looking to, to make a second DVD on all three flags. We're going to talk to the... Uh, the people there's cuttings on the floor a lot of hours on the floor and so we're going to talk to to um to um uh, Saskel and see if we can make another dvd and sort of the plants we're we're you're you know we're 150 years old every province should do something We've you're not looking life. a day over 40 40 okay well i'm not 150 but i'm a lot more than 40. <laughs> i will um there's nothing more to show you on this side but uh, I'll go get you, that's where we live, on that side. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that doesn't go on tape. 